So I'm Sean Good. I'm fisheries biologist with the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department. Today we're up here on Chittenden Reservoir. We're stalking um, intensively cultured walleye uh, fingerlings. Um, and these are fingerlings that were grown from eggs that we collected from adult walleye here back in April. These uh, two inch walleye fingerlings are uh, about 36 days old now. And they've been reared indoors at our Bald Hill Fish Culture Station up in Newark, Vermont. Um, the intensive culture system is something that we uh, developed and perfected at Grand Isle for our Lake Champlain walleye program. And they're starting to use it at, at the Bald Hill Fish Culture Station now. And it has a lot of benefits in that we can actually grow these fish uh, quicker indoors with this intensive culture system at a higher density and get them up to this, you know, almost two inch mark, 1.8, 1.9 inches in just over a, a month's time. Um, previously, we would uh, culture fish by hatching them in the hatchery and then put them uh, into outdoor ponds where we finished them off. And it would take 45 days or more to reach this size. But in the intensive culture system where we can control all the variables, we can actually get them to the two inch mark in just over a month. And that benefits our stocking programs like we have up here on Chittenden Reservoir because we're putting them out earlier at a larger size. And today, as we were stalking them along the lake shore, we're looking for very specific places to put them. Uh, we're not just randomly releasing them into deep open water in the reservoir. We're going along the shoreline and looking for uh, specific kinds of habitat that provides cover and protection for these fish. So, you know, vegetation beds and very, you know, uh, complex areas of habitat that gives them lots of uh, little nooks and crannies to hide in. But the other thing about those areas is that's also where minnows are hiding themselves as well. And we're seeing lots of schools of, you know, one to one and a quarter inch minnows that were hatched this year in the wild up on Chittenden Reservoir. And we're trying to put those walleye fingerlings that we're stocking right on top of those schools of minnows. And the benefit of culturing them in the intensive system at our hatcheries indoors is that we can grow them bigger faster and so by the time we get them out here on the reservoir the wild minnows that they're going to be feeding on are still small enough for these two inch walleye to start eating. So uh, ultimately this will uh, provide a better uh, more abundant population of walleye that's stronger and provides a great fishing opportunity up here in Chittenden.